Okay, so here's the problem. I have a WP form installed on my uh, WordPress website, and I would like to capture the information and integrate with uh, Zoho, Zoho CRM. So I'm just showing these two websites, so you uh, you know what I'm talking about. WP form, Zoho, Zoho CRM. So I have the form built in on the website. I have this demo here I've created, name, last name, email, and phone. And I have created the uh, the form here, and I would like to integrate this. So this is this is my problem. <laughs> so how do I do that? So there is no easy integration, straightforward or out of the box from WP Form or also. But there, there is a little piece of um, of tool uh, called Beat uh, Integrations, which is this one here. Uh, Beat from Beat Apps. It does it does the trick and it does the work. And uh, the aim on these videos is to show you how to set up and because you might be wondering how, how do I solve this problem and uh, does these actually work and uh, that's, that's what I wanted to show. Uh, there's the free version, but the paid version may have a, a lot more um, and uh, for, for me, I, I prefer the, the paid version. Um, maybe the free version, you know, solves the problem for you. Uh, but one of the things I really like is the fact that I can get the Google Ads code together with the lead. Uh, amongst other things as well, uh, which is quite good. The the field mapping is really easy, and I will show you how to do it. It's really really a few steps to to set it up. So after we run these tests, so I have configured uh, this form. Uh, let me just have a look here. I have configured to send a notification to this email here. Uh, which I have here in the background there. So once we run the, the test, we can see, hopefully successfully see the test in the email. Uh, we'll see the entry here as well uh, on this entry number here for the WP form. If you already use, you know what I mean. And also the goal is to see the lead get into the Zoho CRM. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do that. First thing I need to do is um, after you install the plugin, I'm not going to show how to install the plugin and all that. If you came across Across this, you, I'm assuming you already know what you're doing. I have already got a few forms here that I, we have set up on this website. This is a live website, by the way. So I'm just going to create an integration. As you can see, there's, there's quite a few uh, from this Beat Integration Pro uh, after you configured and got the license and everything. So uh, what I'm looking for here is WP form. If you can't find it, you just type in this you know, WP form. It's just showing there. So I'm going to select because the goal is, is the WP form. I've already created the form, which is the demo form, which I've just shown you there. So this is the form that I wanted to integrate this point. So I'm just going to click next. And uh, where I wanted to integrate to, which is Zoho. So I'm just going to select that Zoho, Zoho CRM. There's quite a few Zoho applications, but the goal here is Zoho CRM. Uh, integration name, Zoho CRM demo. Uh, the data center, um, I am in the UK, United Kingdom, so um, even though it doesn't say UK, but uh, it's part of the European uh, region. So that's, that's the one I've selected. And uh, this is where the data center is for, for the Zoho, uh, where we are. So the homepage is my mymobility.co.uk, uh, as you can see here. So that's the that's the one. These authorized redirects is already filled in uh, by, the, by the plugin. And uh, I need now the client ID and the client secret. So uh, I'm just going to pick it up, clicking in here. Um, so this is the two that I have uh, already created. So I'm just going to, I think this is the latest one I have. I've got to make sure these are matching, you know, with what it says on the plugin. And uh, this is the client ID and the client secret. I am masking so you, you can see <laughs> obviously so i'm just going to copy this one paste in here I'm going to pick up the other one which is the client secret and i'm going to place in here i'm just going to get the authorized so at this point you will um probably um, have to log in or uh, before when I clicked when I clicked on this Zoho API console it should probably have asked you to log in and uh, I'm not 
I've already been logged in and I am logged in, so that's why that's why um, I'm seeing these straight away. So I'm just gonna accept it. Just move it to the side here a little bit. Okay. Then once it's authorized so successfully, let's click next. Then we're gonna select the module, um, which is leads. This is what I wanted to get into. You see this module here, leads. So it matches that leads. Okay. Uh, the layout. I'm just going to use the standard because this is what we're using in this uh, setup is the standard layout. Uh, you might have it slightly different. And then this is where I'm going to start to map it out. So I'm just going to refresh. Okay. So he already does pick up the last name uh, as first every time. So I'm mapping this. The right hand side is the Zoho view. And uh, the left hand side is the uh, the form where I have got the information on the website. Okay, so last name with last name, and then I know I have the first name, so I'm just gonna look up for the first name in here. So the first name, and then uh, email. Then I'm just gonna look for the email that I I, I already have on the Zoho form, and then phone. And I'm looking for the phone in here as well, so it might be slightly different. Yeah, there we go. Got phone in there as well. And uh, there are other things that I I really like on, on this one because you can customize. You can put like a like for example, you can add a custom value here to a dedicated field. So for example, on the description, there's the description here, description, I can just say, you know, this is a demo, demo form test. And you can add more details as well. Like I did mention earlier about uh, the, um, you can capture like um, the user ID, a random GDIT number, it's quite useful as well to refer URL. I did mention earlier uh, about the uh, Google as well, so you can you can add, you see the capture GCLID, so this is really good for if you're spending with uh, advertisement on Google Ads and Bing Ads as well. Amongst other, other things you can trigger as well, like a workflow, you can have an attachment and um, an approval and all that conditional logic as well so i'm just going to keep it simple on this one so we don't keep it long so i just want to show you that it works and it's really easy uh, finish and save okay so now i have the demo form here which is this one zoho crm demo i have it active see that uh, so now I'm, let's test it so i'm just going to go to the demo page so Rogerio, uh, don't ask me again. No, I don't want to log in. Rogerio test and email at rogeriodesilva.com. Just going to put the number here as a, any random number. Just going to submit this form. OK, so I've got this set to redirect. Um, OK, so now I have sent the email, so let's just see. Right, okay, so I, I've i got the the lead coming in to the email that I have set up in the form to, to get a copy to myself in the WP form. If you work with WP form, you know what I mean. And now uh, let's have a look on the, on the leads. So let's refresh this page. Okay, I have filtered that as junk. But let's have a look on O. Oh, there we go. Rogerio test uh, email and telephone number there. So let's just open these. There you go. So name, last name, telephone number, and I've got all the fields. So uh, for this particular website, we have a, a few fields, and uh, we all map out. Uh, all the fields depending on the depending on how uh, we want it to, to be captured and selected. Here the description. Remember that I did uh, uh, the customization. This is the the text for the customization there. There we go. So I just wanted to demonstrate how easily you can integrate WP form with Zoho and I get that integration with a really really simple uh, integration too, like from BTAPS. Uh, thank you BTAPS. 
it has been very helpful uh, for the past six months also i have been using it and it's been really 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 good uh, they do have all the all the integrations as well uh, but yeah do check it out okay if this has been helpful to you if it has helped uh, open your mind and this have uh, helped solve the problems that you have similar to mine uh, give the thumbs up drop me a comment yeah make sure you ring the the bell for you to get more videos any other videos that i release soon okay bye for now